Swedish American Alive. For the third time in my life, I done seen gentrification happen in real time in my face. They tore down my elementary school, they did it. And you see all these beautiful homes and all these beautiful folks. They about to get offered 30 cents on the dollar. And once they get offered 30 cents on the dollar right in front of us, we can look ahead on some two, three story condominium. And ain't nobody in the neighborhood afford it. They gonna come sell that boy for 250, $350,000. But for some reason, every black politician in America, they won't have a conversation about black poverty. If you can come into my neighborhood, build that and drive that while I catch the Metro bus and I have no industry to get me out of this living situation, I need to be able to go to work and make $25 an hour so I can drive a big F-12, F-150 and live in a nice condo in my own neighborhood. Then I already got them all of inner city Houston and they getting this now. Thank you. They are gentrifying all of Houston and pricing out Houstonians. Why won't we have these conversations? Because it's more important to talk about me being black than it is me being poor. That's some wild ass shit. It's more important for me to talk about a man who was killed on the South Union streets than it is about the young people who can't eat on the South Union streets. It's a fascinating thing. In America, we might lose about 1,500 black men to police violence. But every year we got a million black men locked up in incarceration. But we won't have that conversation for what reason? I care more about the million than I do about the thousand. But you rather worry about one percent than the whole motherfucking her whole pie. There are black men who grow up in the South Union area and go to the public schools and they go straight from the public school to the prison pipeline. But we won't have a conversation about you look at my test scores in the fourth grade. You know I can't read. If I can't read in the fourth grade, when I drop out in the ninth grade, you know exactly where I'm going. And so every year you spend $31,000 on me to go to incarceration, but you won't, you won't invest in me to become a better person. You won't invest in the South Union being the best place that it could possibly be. I have to believe that you're investing in poverty. You're investing in my failure. You know how much I work. And if I reach my full potential, then my impact on your society will be so monumental. And when I say my people, I can't put no race on that. The black person is 13% of the American population. The poor person population in America is like 70%. There are 30% of people who are living in the upper elite, and everyone else is looking up, waving at them, talking about, hi. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.